Mimesis, ancient Greek, mu mu in a sigma iota sigma, mimesis, is a term used in literary criticism and philosophy that carries a wide range of meanings, including, imitatio, imitation, non-sensuous similarity, receptivity, representation, mimicry, the act of expression, the act of resembling, and the presentation, of the self. The original ancient Greek term mimesis, mu mu in a sigma iota sigma, derives from my mist high. Mu iota mu epsilon sigma eta alpha iota, to imitate, itself coming from Nemos, mu mu omicron sigma. Imitator, actor. In ancient Greece, mimesis was an idea that governed the creation of works of art, in particular, with correspondence to the physical world understood as a model for beauty, truth, and the good. Plato contrasted mimesis, or imitation, with dechesis, or narrative. After, Plato. The meaning of mimesis eventually shifted toward a specifically literary function in ancient Greek society. One of the best known modern studies of mimesis, understood in literature as a form of realism, is Eric Auerbach's Mimesis, the representation of reality in Western literature, which opens with a comparison between the way the world is represented in Homer's Odyssey and the way it appears in the Bible. In addition to Plato and Auerbach, mimesis has been theorized by thinkers as to versus Aristotle. Philip Sidney, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, Adam Smith, Gabriel Tardy, Sigmund Freud, Walter Benjamin, Tandor Adorno, Paul Ricoeur, Luce Rigore, Jacques Derrida, René Girard, Nicolas Comprides, Philippe Lecoulebarte, Michael, Tausig, Merlin Donald, Holmi Baba, Roberto Colasso, and Nige Schlatu. During the 19th century, the racial politics of imitation towards African Americans influenced the term mimesis in its evolution.